Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs, and we're all so excited that the Trucking Along bundle is back in stock. As of right now, it's back in stock. It's been in stock for about a week, so I think it's here to stay. But if you haven't gotten it, make sure you get it. It is the cutest. Um, this is an online exclusive, which means you won't find it in any catalog. It's only available online. And it's a punch bundle, which we always love. And this stamp set really can carry you through the seasons. We've got summer things, we've got winter things, we We've got fall things. I mean, you can use it all year. So we're going to make a Christmas card since right now my mind is starting to turn towards Christmas. Um, the first thing we're going to do is make a little watercolor wash for that background. It's very hard to see, but I promise you it is there. This is a square of um, watercolor paper, and I'm going to take some pool party ink and a lot of water and I'm gonna dilute it pretty good because I want this to be pretty light. And I'm just gonna wash like this in the background. All right, and I'm using, this is a water painter. All right, and I think that's probably good enough. All right, now we'll set that aside to dry and let's make our truck. Um, we are gonna use basic white and I have found if you watch my previous video that the best way to do this to punch this truck or to line this truck up is to stamp the solid image first okay so we're going to do this truck in real red and then we're going to stamp it the outline in memento black and I'm gonna have to pull it down just a little bit so that I can see what I'm doing. You wanna line it up, look at the front, look at the back, look at the top, and look at the bottom, and line it up. It's pretty easy. Now, if you struggle with that, if you have Stamparatus, that will help you line those images up. All right, now the, the tires, they look like eyes if you turn them this way, but nope, those are the tires on the bottom, so make sure that's at the bottom. Line those little circles up, and there you go. Okay, so now let's grab our punch and let's punch out this adorable Christmas truck. We have a Bass Pro Shop here in town that always has an old red truck out the front at Christmas with trees in the back. So I, of course, that's what I was thinking of when I designed this. All right, now I have a piece of watercolor paper that is dry, I did it ahead of time. Um, and we're going to decide where we want that Christmas tree. And I'm gonna use a post-it note to help me line it up, okay? So let's stamp the sentiment first in Memento, Memento Black. Wishing you a festive Christmas down here at the bottom. And then let's see where I think I'm gonna want my truck is about right here. Does that look centered to you guys? All right, so now I'm gonna get my trees and we're going to use garden green and I'm going to start with the outline of this tree first all right and I think what I'm going to do is fold that down see how it goes behind a little bit I want to make sure that I get all of that in there but this post-it note helps me know exactly where to put that that tree all right now I'm going to take my solid tree let me grab some scrap paper and I'm gonna do garden green also, but I'm gonna stamp off first so that it's very light. All right, there we go. Now we'll peel that off and throw it away and grab some dimensionals, which have suddenly disappeared. Let me grab them over here. And we will put two on the back. And we're gonna put that truck right there. How cute is that? So cute. And this stamp set has so many options for you, things you can put in the back of your truck. Um, lots of options, I actually had a hard time deciding. All right, so I've got a real red card base and a piece of basic white that is three and three fourths by five. Now, I have a free PDF over on my blog for you, so hop over there and grab it so that um, you will have the measurements and the supply list. Now we're gonna emboss this black piece, basic black, with one of our other online exclusives. Um, I believe they're called basics embossing folders, but I'll have that listed on my supply list. 
Um, it's th it's a three pack of embossing folders that are basic patterns and they are my go-to. I love them. So we're going to use this one. It's like a cross hash or hatch design, right? And it has this little line down here to help you keep your paper straight, which is helpful. This, this pattern, we don't need to worry about it so much, but some of them you do. All right. Now I've got two ribbons. I've got my, um, crumb cake, I believe, stitched ribbon. I'm gonna call it the wrong thing, you guys. So please, again, look at that supply list. All right, we're gonna run this down the left side of our, of our black piece, all right? And I'm gonna wrap it around and adhere it to the back like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my um, gingham, black and white gingham, but this time I'm not gonna put adhesive down the center. I'm gonna come back here and put adhesive here like this. Stick that down. It'll, we know it'll be centered because it's on, it's in the middle of the ribbon. Like that, let's take a look at it. Perfect. All right, now more adhesive. And I'm definitely gonna put extra adhesive up here so that it'll stick down where those ribbons are. Okay, and we're gonna put this kind of on the left side of our card. Like that. And then grab your star of the show, your truck. And we're gonna put this on with dimensionals, overlapping that ribbon. And then let's add a bow to this because we need a bow. Okay. Snip and snip. little glue dot right there and then last but not least we're going to add some sequins and these are the neutral sequins i think i'll use gold let's put a few on here like this and how about one down here and there you go. What a fun Christmas card that makes. I hope you like it. Let me know if you have questions. Again, don't forget to visit my blog where there is a free PDF, supply list, measurements, and two other projects using the Trucking Along bundle. All right, you guys. Have fun stamping. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.